In this video, we will cover customizing your CRM records, such as companies, deals, and quotes. We will cover creating custom page layouts, creating custom fields, and displaying associated records within tabs. Let's create our page layout. As we can see at the top of a company record, there's a blue section, and we're able to toggle open a gray section below. Any of these section field names can be edited, as can any of the individual fields themselves. And we're able to move any of these fields from the section below into the top section. And we can close that section. And we're able to move any of the fields that are in the blue section uh, around to create our own layout. The benefit of having fields in the blue section is that we can edit these fields without editing the full the full record. Okay, let's create some custom fields. Firstly, we're going to create a number field. We're going to call this one sales turnover. Secondly, we'll create a field which is associated to another record. We're going to call this subsidiary. And thirdly, we'll create a field which is associated to a user. So we can have a second responsible person for this company record. They're going to be a technical responsible person. Go to into the CRM more and settings and into forms and custom fields and we're going to create a custom field within the company. First field is turnover. We're able to have this as a mandatory field. We're also able to create this as a multiple add field. Um, in this case we're leaving those two boxes unticked. And we're going to change the type to number and save. Second field we're going to add is subsidiary. And this time the field is going to bind to a CRM element because we want to associate this company record with another company record. So we'll select company. And thirdly, our tech support. And this time we're going to bind to a user of the system. Click Save. Let's go back into one of our company records. And we need to display these fields. We're going to display them in different areas. We're going to display the turnover field in the top blue section. We will display the subsidiary field actually within a new tab. And we'll, we'll show the tech support in the, in the gray section. Firstly, we need to find the fields we've created. If we expand the gray area and hover down at the bottom over show fields, we can see the new fields we've created. Let's bring those into the gray area firstly. Let's turn over. There is subsidiary and our tech support. Okay, so let's move turnover up first of all. We can put this in the top area. And as we mentioned, we can now add content to this field without editing the full record. Makes updating records very quick. Secondly, we're going to add our subsidiary field into a new tab. Now we've already got a new tab here. If I click into my settings link on the right hand side here and into form settings. Um, I can create new tabs here. Um, by clicking on add, we've already got a tab here called subsidiary. So I'm selecting that tab and then in the boxes below, I just need to find the new field that I've created. Here it is. Move it across, in, across into the tabs field area and click save. And now if we go into our subsidiary tab, we can see this is the field that we've created. 
And finally, in our tech support, let's add somebody to this tech support. We can add them from our company structure. Add this user here, click save. And we're gonna display this field in the, in the gray section below. We're gonna display it in this contact contacts area. So we can simply drag it up into this area like this. Okay, so we created a uh, we, we created a custom layout with the standard fields, and then we created three different types of custom fields and displayed them in different areas of the record. Finally, we're going to customize how the columns are displayed within the tabs, the associated tabs of the company record. So within each company record, there's a series of tabs, and we click into some of these tabs, we can see uh, a range of fields within here. We're able to display, we're able to customize the columns that are shown in these tabs. If we go into list columns, uh, we can see that the ones that are ticked are the items that are displaying. We might need to display some additional fields. Um, in this case, I might want zip and I might want website. We select those two fields, click off this area. And when the page refreshes, those fields have become available over here. We're also able to customize the layout of these. So if I need to choose, if I need to move one column over, we can simply drag and drop in this way. That's it. Once you've created the custom page layout, if you're an administrator, you can save preferences for all users.